I started a new job um, this past week. And Nikki is beefing with Meg, and I'm just like, all I could think today was like, I need some Mimi in my life. Like, I need to get home and listen to the emancipation of Mimi. Well, the time has come. Hey, it's Trey, and I got something to say. Welcome to my channel, Memorize That Handle. Thanks for joining me today. <laughs> Hey y'all, it is Trey, good to see you again. Today is the day. One sweet day, not on this album, on a past album, but you know, today's going to be a sweet day. Tonight I am listening to Mariah Carey's comeback album, The Emancipation of Mimi. And because this album was such a big, big, big triumph, for her. I'm not just listening to the standard version. I am listening to the Ultra Platinum Edition, which has six additional tracks, one of them being one of Mariah Carey's number one songs on the Billboard charts, Don't Forget About Us. I'm not too young to remember the years 2005 and 2006, and hearing this album, particularly We Belong Together, that song, over and over on the radio. When that song came on the radio, that was my jam. I actually vividly remember We Belong Together by Mariah Carey and Be Without You by Mary J. Blige. When either of those songs came on the radio, 2005, 2006, a little bit of 2007 and 2008 too, it was like, stop everything. This is my song, my little boy soprano. I want to sing it out for the entire car, the entire neighborhood to hear. <laughs> but the thing is that I have never sat down and listened to the album that We Belong Together comes from. Well, today that changes. I am so excited to finally sit down and experience the album in its entirety. Before we get started, please give this video a like and leave a comment down in the comment section below. Click the subscribe button and click the notification bell so you get notifications when I post the rest of my Mariah reactions. And if you would like to follow me on social media, you can find me at Trey McLeod underscore on Instagram, TikTok, and Threads. And if you would like to support the channel, you can go over to patreon.com slash Trey McLeod, where you get early ad-free access to all of my videos, as well as some bonus content. And now, y'all, without further ado, let's do this. Yeah. <laughs> Track number one, It's Like That, featuring Jermaine Dupri and Fat Man Scoop. Mm. 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 Now this song, that beat starts. I love this video too. I like that job. Mm. This is how you kick off a comeback album. Yes, making the most. Caution, foreshadowing. That line! <laughs> Her mind. Who comes up with the line, them chickens is ash and I'm lotion? That's, that's it, that's it. That the, she, Mimi has had her emancipation for certain at this point. Them chickens is ash and I'm lotion. <sighs> One of the most iconic lines of the decade. Maybe of the 21st century. Yeah. It's a special occasion. Baby, emancipation. See, this is announcing what this album is. Looking at us. DJ keeps on spinning the cut. It's like that. It's like that, y'all. It's like that, y'all. That, y'all. That, 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 like that, y'all. Ooh, 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 ooh. That is a song that you could play that at like, mm, well, I don't want to go too early in the morning. Yeah, you could play that song at like 4 a.m. 4 in the morning, and I would go, ha! Ah! It's 
time to get up. That little <laughs> happens. And my booty goes. <laughs> it is what was needed. <laughs> Mariah went into the studio with Mr. Jermaine Dupree and said, we can, let's, let's make some magic again, right? I remember seeing the video when I was a wee lad and at the end when she's like in front of the, <laughs> the fan with that dress on and I'm like, is, is that gonna, is that gonna stay on? Is that gonna keep covering her? Like, you know, cause woo, that's a lot of wind and it does not seem to be very secure. Let's just keep the party going, all right? Well, actually, this is kind of like the, the when the party's over of this album, right? And this is gonna be the song. Track number two, We Belong Together. Mm. Come on. Hmm. I also just wanna say the fact that just from that piano at the beginning, you immediately know. It is, it is that singular of an intro, that dun 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 And everyone's like, ooh, this is We Belong Together. We already know, we already know. Sweet love. Anita Baker? Lying to myself. Sleep at night when you all on my mind. Bobby Womax on the radio. If you think you're lonely now, wait a minute, this is too deep. I gotta change the stations, and then I hear baby face. I only think of you, and it's breaking my heart. I'm trying to keep it together, but I'm falling apart. I'm feeling all out of my element, throwing things, crying, trying to figure out where the hell I went wrong. It's only even half of what I'm feeling inside I need you, need you back in my life Don't leave no when time's here up Who's gonna talk to me on the phone till the sun comes up? Who's gonna take your place? There ain't nobody better Sing it, y'all! Sing it with her! When you left, I lost a part of me We belong together Oh baby, baby, we belong together Oh, fade out, fade out, fade out Mmm, wow That song was everywhere My little seven-year-old self I knew all the words to that song I didn't know who Babyface was I didn't know who Bobby Womack was but I was like, I hear Bobby Womack on the radio. <laughs> and at the end of the decade, when Billboard called it the song of the decade, my little 12 year old self said, yes, that makes sense. But there's so much material here that I have not heard. There's so much other territory to be explored, all right? So let's get into it. Track number three, Shake It Off. That beat is really, really good. Shake it up, shake it up, shake it up. 
Shake It Off is good. There is something, ah, the theme of emancipation, of freedom, right? Hearing Mariah say, I gotta do what's best for me. After everything that she went through in the past 10 years of her career, from the critics, from the men, from the public, absolutely, shake it off. Do what's best for you, Mariah. I love that. Track number four, mine again. These intros are great. I remember when you used to be mine. Way back when. Ooh, okay, okay. Maybe you could be mine. Again. Maybe we could make that dream for real like way back then. When love was I'm sorry, I... The way Mariah just sang the word mine with all of the longing in her heart made me question, have I ever heard anyone sing the word mine before? Because Mariah just sang the only mine that ever needs to be sung. Oh! That song, I didn't know if I was gonna survive it. <laughs> oh, there was a key change. Her voice cracked in really emotional places. And then the very, very end, the musicality. Excellent, excellent musical arrangement. For the last like 20 seconds, it was like, maybe we can bring it back, maybe we can bring it back. And her wishing and longing was so strong that she literally changed the music and made that beautiful, fluffy feeling from before, that paradise that she was in before, she made it real again. She brought it back, just with the power of her voice. That was a, that was, we are only four songs in. How can I be having this good of a time only four songs in? Mm. Oh, 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 wait a second. And then track number five, we're bringing back Snoop Doggy Dog. Y'all know how I felt about Cry Baby. What's about to happen? Track number five, Say Something, featuring Snoop Dogg. <laughs> I'm sorry, whoever is doing this percussion, unbelievable. These beats on this album are just incredible. I can't even, like, it keeps you on your toes. Mm. What are you? Craziness. Wait, the Neptunes did this? Okay, this makes sense. I know you like my smile, big my style, big bow, wow. Say something, say something good to me. No misses so far. Like, this is insanity. Okay, so the knowing that the Neptunes did that. Huh. They really did their thing on that track. All of them. That is, that was great. Oh my gosh. That's a good vibe. Track number six, Stay the Night. 
Wow. Stay the night. To me, the the part of the parts of that song that were really like money were the chorus and the the outro that like that whole final chorus and last minute of that that was money. The verses themselves were kind of like ah, all right, okay, but they like established the lyrics, established like what this song is about and what we're asking for here. There's a lot of longing on this album. She's just pining all over these songs. I didn't know she emancipated herself this much. <laughs> Track number seven, Get Your Number, featuring Jermaine Dupri. Almost kind of sounds like <laughs> you know, girl. putting in the numbers on a phone. It's crazy. Fine, mm -hmm. Oh. Can, can I get your number? Oh, damn. I'm sorry. That line delivery was so mother. The, I got a house in Capri and my own G4 and I'm bands with the doors that lift up from the floor. Wah! These songs are just flex after flex after flex after flex. <laughs> is right. <laughs> Jermaine Dupri and Mariah Carey, you two are trouble. You're troublemakers. Yeah, give her the Grammy. I know y'all gave her the Grammy, but give her the Grammy again. Track number eight, One and Only, featuring Twista. <laughs> I didn't know you were gonna go there. I don't see the parental advisory label on this album. I don't see the little explicit letter by the this song. What do you mean she just said? Just like any other mofo does. Mariah is just really talking her talk on this song. She said, make me sing real high when he goes down low. She's like, I know y'all know I got a high voice. I know y'all know me for those high notes. I use them. <laughs> I keep saying this, but it's like track after track after track after track. This album is stacked. Like, and also how funny to go from um, on Charm Bracelet where she was like, 
finally found somebody who could be the one. Three years after Charm Bracelet, and we're still looking for the one and only. Yeah. It's a long, winding road with many twists and turns. Mariah certainly knows. <laughs> Track number nine, Circles. The background! The background! It's upsetting how actually perfect this album is. And I don't think I can make it without you. No, I can do that again. Yeah, do that again. Do that again. Do that again. I know she wanted to do more. The band wanted to do more, but they were like, listen, baby, <laughs> pop songs are getting shorter. <laughs> so we gotta, we gotta keep it condensed. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, that's another thing that's different about this album is there's, I only see two songs that are uh, over four minutes long. Interesting. Well, the year was 2005. The growls. Little voice breaks. I, you hear the emotion here. It's a big sound. It's not too polished. And it just sounds raw in some places. And I love that. Like she's singing live. It feels like MTV Unplugged in some places, you know? <laughs> Track number 10, Your Girl. <laughs> She is not holding back. Hmm. That's how it ends? Oh! Mariah! Dirty. Dirty for making a good song like that. Track number 11, I Wish You Knew. Insane vocal. I wish you knew. Listen, Mariah really comes on to the mic with each of these songs and basically says for the entire song, yes, I am Mariah Carey. And yes, this is my voice. 100% my voice. Oh yes. I almost like the, 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 the little speech that she did in the middle. It was like, ooh, is this like, Audio from the Charm Bracelet World Tour? <laughs> oh my gosh. Keep going, keep it going, all right? Track number 12, To The Flow, featuring Nelly. Easy. Easy. Girl, I just think that you're girl. Take 
come on your clothes mm -hmm. so hot. I'm gonna take my clothes off To the flow made me want to get on the flow. They did, they did what they set out to accomplish there. A masterclass. All right. <laughs> Track number 13, Joyride. And that was Joyride. Good grief. Oh my gosh, Mariah. Every song is like a rapture. Track number 14, Fly Like a Bird. There you go. Okay. Stop. No, no, are you what? That's how you ended the album, Mimi? Mimi. That's how it... That abruptly? Mariah walked into the studio with something to prove. She had to come back in a big way. And she understood the assignment. That was the end of the standard version of The Emancipation of Mimi. And... I can say, now that I've reached the end of it, I had this feeling right around like the eight or ninth track. Definitely by the time I'd finished Your Girl. I was like, this is probably one of the greatest albums I have ever heard by any artist. And I wanted to wait until I'd finished track number 14 before I said that out loud. But yes, this is one of the greatest albums I have ever heard. With that being said, I'm very happy that I chose to listen to the Ultra Platinum Edition because we have six more tracks that were not a part of the standard release. Uh, these are some bonus tracks and remixes, um, but I have not heard any of these before. So let's keep the party going, all right? Track number 15, Don't Forget About Us. Just let it die with no goodbyes. Yeah. 
punk, you know how this loving used to be. I, I bitch can't do like me. She'll never be MC. Baby, don't you. Move on, but also keep making hits from that place in your heart, you know? <laughs> the mature response in me is like, you know, honey, pick your heart up off the floor, move on, mature. The one is out there, but also I'm like, keep making these songs from, from this place, you know? If, if you, you keep making this music magic like you do, I'm sorry, I don't know if the one is actually out there. Track number 16, Making It Last All Night, What It Do, featuring Jermaine Dupree. Oh, this is about to be a moment. Freaking you. I just want to pause. Let that song soak in because the beat was just so. Making it last all night. What it do? 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 Yeah. In my system. I'm gonna hear that beat echoing off the walls as I fall asleep. Track number 17, So Lonely, one and only part two with Twista once again. Dark Child, okay. You know I like the way you kick it, girl. You know I like it when you in my world. Come in, mama, let me freak your body. The road with me in the Britney right pearl. When we fucking, it be so excited. Mm. I know that I be playing with fire with Mariah. And she know she be dealing with a bowler. Hit the fashions and run through the wire. Full of desire, just like a shot shot caller. I just love the way she comes in here. these beats 2005 what a year no wonder i had a happy childhood track number 18 i am ready to revisit this song but i also know they did it in a way that i have not heard before we belong together featuring jadakiss and styles p when you left, I lost oh this is a completely different song That line, I only think of you. And she changes it to on two occasions. That's day 
and night. There you go. I'll be going next on the radio. Hell, okay. I'm trying to figure out where the hell I went wrong. So I'm getting ready for what I'm feeling inside. I'm leaning in the back in my life, baby. Let's go. You're gonna need a shoulder to cry on. Classic Mustang Cobra to ride on. We argue, I spaz out, grab my bulls out. Come back now, cause I have to. I want to. And no, I don't just wanna have to. Grab your what? Um, baby, baby. She really is the remix queen because I have never heard We Belong Together like that. I'm just in shock at her mind. The creatives that she surrounded herself with at this time in her career, she she was making she was calling all the shots and she was making the right decisions that were true to her and it shows. The fact that even the bonus tracks are fire, okay? I never knew that I needed a remix of We Belong Together in my life that featured Jada Kiss and Styles P, but now that I know that it exists, I'm very, very happy. Track number 19, Secret Love. I can't say enough good things about the beats on this album. The chorus on that one is really what carried it for me. I, I think I was just distracted by how fire the beat was, but it's pretty repetitive. So once I had like adjusted to what a big percussion sound that was, <laughs> by the time I adjusted to that, the verses had already passed and I was just writing the choruses. And, oh baby, my baby. Here goes the last one. All right, track number 20, Sprung. <laughs> What? All right, uh, Sprung was, I, I can't really, I don't know how to describe it other than it was definitely giving bonus track. A strange note to end on. Um, but also, Fly Like a Bird was a strange note to end on. Just, I mean, I, I understand the song, but the way that Fly Like a Bird, the song ended, I was like, what? That was abrupt. Hello. Maybe, maybe a way to kind of say that like, oh, she's, she's not done. She's back and she's got so much more to give. That was the emancipation of Mimi. I felt like this record was just dripping in opulence, extravagance, emancipation. It was glamorous. It was high energy, um, big, big sound to match the superstar status that Mariah had earned and had to step up to reclaim because people were playing games with her for several years. I'm glad I sat down and listened to the Ultra Platinum Edition because that, that We Belong Together remix? What do you mean? Making it last all night? I had a great time listening to this. This was what I needed. This is how I'm starting off my week. This is the energy that I want to start off my week with, not whatever else this day was before I sat down to record. This is the energy we have captured. I like what we have captured tonight in the studio. I'm just in awe of the power, the punch that these songs packed. And you have, you have everything being sung about. You have heartbreak, you have a night out on the town. It's just, it's pop magic. So Mariah has returned. Mimi is back. And I am so excited for whatever else is in store. 
But now that I have listened to the album in full, I want to hear from you guys what you thought of this album when it dropped. I think this is one that people generally tend to speak positively of, but if you have some other thoughts, maybe, that soured your experience of it, I would love to hear that. I don't think I'll agree with you, but... (laughs) I loved this. I loved this album. Vocals here, prime. Beats here, spectacular. Um, Lyrics, I still haven't recovered from them chickens as ash and I'm lotion. Like... Gagged everyone. (laughs) I just, I, I love these songs and not just what a moment this album was for her, but what a moment for the culture this album was, for the world, for America, for our universe. What a moment in time. I love this album. I will be going back and playing it many, many times in the future. It was so much fun. So much fun. I had a blast listening to this one. And I will continue to. Emancipation of Mimi is that girl. She is that album. Man, oh man. We're carrying this energy throughout 2024. The Emancipation of Mimi is gonna be my energy for 2024, all right? (laughs) Thank you all so much for watching this video. Let me know what you thought in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. E equals MC squared is next, and I will see y'all again very, very soon. Bye!